Today on our episode of Analyzing Mediterranean Art, Ellie and Kaylin will be discussing the Akhenaten, Nefertiti, and Three Daughters artwork carved in a low relief on limestone. To start off, we can immediately see Akhenaten is the most prominent figure in this 32.5 centimeter high piece. Even the amount of space the figure takes up places emphasis on him. This amount of emphasis shows Akhenaten's importance during this time period, which was about 1,353 to 1,335 BCE. During this time period, Akhenaten was the king of New Kingdom Egypt. During his reign, Akhenaten made many changes to Egyptian society. This includes a new capital city that was named Akhetaten, which means the horizon of Aten, or sun god. Also, during his reign, a new art style called Amarna became popular. Another important thing to recognize about Akhenaten during his reign is he became very unliked because of all the intense changes he made. This brings an interesting piece of knowledge about the function of this piece, because even though Akhenaten was unliked, we can infer he was a powerful leader for someone to make a piece to honor him. I agree. This piece was a patronage to Akhenaten and was placed in a privately owned altar. This shows a certain type of dedication to make a work to honor an unpopular person. Bouncing back to the new style Akhenaten introduced, we can see specific imagery related to him, his family, and his reign. Some of this imagery includes the sunbeams reaching out to the family and holding the Ankh, which is a symbol of life. This artwork also depicts papyrus leaves, hieroglyphs, and curvilinear human figures. I'd also like to talk about the depiction of the sun in this artwork because it is a symbol of Aten, or the sun god. There is also a depiction of a cobra on the sun, which represents monotheism, and the idea of a supreme deity. Religious beliefs in Egypt weren't always monotheistic. During Akhenaten's rule, he changed from polytheistic beliefs to the worship of a new monotheistic religion dedicated to the sun god, Aten. This image pictures three of Akhenaten's six daughters, one of which is depicted on Nefertiti's left shoulder. This daughter is named Magatayin, and she died in childbirth. This new artwork is called Walk in the Garden. It is made in the same Amarna art style as the previous image. Some similarities between these pictures are the head wrap on the figures, the accentuated stomachs, and the materials used for clothing. Another artwork to compare is the palette of King Narmer. This piece is from pre-dynastic Egypt around 3000 BCE and is now kept in the Egyptian Museum. This piece of art has a hierarchical scale just like the Akhenaten piece. You can also compare the type of figures in the pieces. The figures in both have head wraps, the same clothing, and have different sized figures throughout them. On the other hand, in our work, we can contrast to Akhenaten, Nefertiti, and Three Daughters would be the seated scribe. This piece is from Saqqara, Egypt, Old Kingdom, and is a painted subtractive statue. Some major differences between these pieces would include the technique used to make them, the artistic style used, and the depiction of a noble man opposed to a pharaoh. Although this piece is only 32 and a half centimeters high, its impact on our understanding of cultural shifts that happened during Akhenaten's rule is great. Thanks for watching our episode of Analyzing Mediterranean Art. These are the sources that we used for our photos and information for our episode. This piece of art has a hierarchical Hierarchical scale. Hierarchical. Just stop it.